And they'll talk about robots. You know, we all love robots. How could you not love We love robots. Talk about robots on Mars. And they, and they say, oh, look how excited people are about robots. No one denies that. But of course, I don't know anyone who's ever named a school after a robot. Has that ever happened? I don't think so, okay? Not only that, we had robots in the 60s. The Russians had a rover on the moon. We had Ranger photographs. The Ranger 7 produced a whole book of, these are robots on the moon. We don't remember those at all. Why? Because we were advancing a space frontier with people at the time. You advance a space frontier with people, that's going to make headlines. And all the robots will still be there, but they'll be down here somewhere in the headlines. Okay? That's what's missing, the continually advancing space frontier. And you know the evidence that we haven't advanced? You get me angry now. You know the evidence we haven't advanced? I'll tell you. It's the fact, and I'm part of this fact. I walked by the Saturn V rocket, okay? You can't walk by that without practically genuflecting as you go by. You, walk, you see the F1 engine, you see the nozzles. You just can't, you can't even believe it that this thing launched and went to the moon. And you touch it, and it's like the monkeys and the monolith in 2001. Anybody who comes near it, they're doing this to it. And <laughs> this was the first spacecraft that got us out of Earth orbit. First time we ever left the Earth. Now, here's the problem. The first of anything technological is not something you want to be genuflecting in front of. You ever seen the first cell phone? It was this huge brick they used to carry around on their shoulder. <laughs> okay, back then it looked cool because there was no other way to do that before then. But no one longs for this. No one genuflects in front of this thing anymore. <laughs> the first internal combustion car. It's quaint, you put it in a museum somewhere, but no one is begging to have that come back. No one is saying, gosh, how did they do that? No, you put it in a corner and get on with business. No one wants the first computer. You don't even want last year's computer. <laughs> so why is it that we walk past the Saturn V and we genuflect? It's because we haven't done anything beyond that. Yes, we've done it. We've had engineering marvels, sure, no doubt about it. Space shuttles is brilliant construction of engineering. So is the space station. But I'll tell you something, when you want to advance a space frontier, that means going someplace. Going someplace where people had never been before. That's the frontier, okay? And I guarantee that whatever ship it takes to get that next frontier, that's what will be genuflecting in front of. No one pays attention anymore to the Mercury Redstone, do they? You don't even pause to look at that. Yet had space exploration stopped with that, that's what we'd all be honoring, okay, as a hardware. We walk by that and we pause at the Saturn V. I'm tired of pausing at the Saturn V. Give me something else to pause in front of. And you're gonna, that's who here is gonna do that. I, I, one more point here, and I'm, and I'm done. Did I speak for as long as I was introduced yet? Has that happened? <laughs> Is that my quota? <laughs> um, this thing about how much money NASA gets and how much money people think they get, um, this happened, I just have to tell this story, because it, it's, I was on the Today Show, because Matt Lauer's name was mentioned moment, you know, earlier by um, Miles. Why was I on? They called me in to comment on the fact that the Cassini spacecraft had just pulled into orbit around Saturn. Okay, uh, there was no science yet. So I said, well, why don't you wait until we've got some data? No, 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 come in, come in, talk about this. So I said, okay, uh, I'll see what I can do. So I get pulled in, we have this conversation, and he says, congratulations. Well, I said, well, I, these are the folks at JPL did that. I'm, I'm happy to applaud them, okay, all right. Fine. So what are we going to find? We're going to find the magnetic fields, the ring system, the moon system. Uh, Saturn has aurora. 
on its poles, it's got a magnetic field, it's cool, it's so cool, my favorite planet of them all. Not Pluto, but Saturn, okay. <laughs> so, so, Matt Lauer says, I understand this mission costs $3.2 billion. Because now it's hard hitting Matt Lauer coming at me now. Because before it was all happy, and this was, by the way, in the first 20 minutes of the program, which is a good sign. They didn't relegate the space story to the recipes in the second hour of the morning news. This was in the first 20 minutes. So we're making progress. So he said, $3.2 billion with all the problems we have on Earth, why are we spending that much money? So I said, pause, pause. It's, it's $3.2 billion over 12 years. So the number, you got to divide that. Then you, okay, divide it. And then you get like three or 400 million a year. And that's when I said, three or 400 million, Americans, spend more money than that in a year on lip balm, okay? So, at that moment, so I'm just, I'm just telling him, right? And at that moment, he stuttered. It was like, oh, oh, oh Katie, back to you. And, and the, the, the lights were shaking because the camera guys were laughing and it was, the whole set got disrupted. So, Here's the newscaster not understanding this relationship. Now, I didn't know at the time. You, you know, if you ever see the, the, the morning, the Today Show, there's a crowd outside looking in through the window. I didn't know until that interview that they actually piped the sound of the program out to that line. So I come out of the green room. I say, okay, I guess I did okay. And they, I come out, there's applause of everyone outside. And they're holding up their chapsticks. They, we want to go to Saturn. <laughs> They want, they, they want to start the chapstick movement. And so I thought to myself, if a simple revelation comparing lip balm and the space program can bring this kind of reaction, then we've got them. We've got them. It's just a matter of the recipe of communication. And so I'm out there in the trenches and on the frontiers, and I'm happy to be there, but I don't want to be the only one. Okay, I need some other people. It's more than it's a it's it's a multi-person job. Okay, <laughs> so <laughs> I invite you to join me in this effort. Okay, you got to love Houston, but you got to get out of Houston every now and then and start talking to folks who don't understand who and what we are because they are our future, our economic security, our 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 um. Oh, People, my last point here and I'm gone, but people, there's always this urge to say, well, what is the spinoff of the space program that affects the person on the street? And then you say, well, we got the, the power tools and you, and you make the list, you got Tempur-Pedic, whatever is the list you make, we've got the list. But I think as Americans, we're bigger than that. We're bigger than that because to explore, what, how many people get to do that? Hardly anyone in the history of civilization get to explore, get to understand our place in the universe. It's the first thing you do when you move into a new house. You, I'll go around the block, see what's there, what's over the hill, what's down the brook. Then you got that staked out and then you go a little further. And, a little, and you keep doing this because I guess the military calls your situational awareness, right? But on top of that, it's just simply, what is our place in the universe? Our chemistry, our biology, our location in space and in time. And that's the kind of country, the country that engages in that, that's the one that's worth defending. That's the one I want to live in. That's the one we've got to convince the rest of this world, the rest of this country, that that's the country they want to live in too. Because without it, there is no future. And that's what I want to leave you with today. Thank you.